lay the parachute out with the leading edge facing down. If the slider is collapsed, pull on the tabs at the rear of the slider to release the locking mechanism, then expand the slider to full width. Using the pull-up cord, temp tie the connector links together below the barrel nut with the steering lines in the center of the tie. Grab the suspension line groups with the front, rear, and steering lines separate and trace the groups up the canopy pushing the slider to the line attachment points. Rigger Check 1. Suspend the canopy by placing the suspension line groups onto a packing hook. Move to the trailing edge of the canopy and remove all slack from the drogue slider control line from the top of the canopy. Locate the red tab on the trailing edge and trace to the left and right steering line 5. Trace both lines through the slider grommets over the packing hook and down to the steering toggles removing all twists. Set the deployment brakes by pulling the main steering toggle until the brake loop passes through the guide ring. Insert the top tab through the brake loop. Insert both tabs into the pockets on the main riser. S fold the excess main steering line and place it into the hook and loop fastening tape keeper. Secure the snap fastener. Repeat for the opposite side. Ensure the excess steering line is routed to the outside and the steering line is to the inside edge of the riser. Clear the leading edge of the canopy by identifying line A1 and tracing to the high point. Count 9 cells and shake left and right. Place the leading edge into the center. Remove the slack from the suspension lines starting with the left side A lines. Repeat for the B lines. Fold the canopy material between the A and B lines. Repeat on the right side. Move to the trail edge of the canopy. Using working view remove tension from the right side C lines and D lines. Fold the canopy material between the B and C lines then between the C and D lines. Repeat on the left side. Ensure the buffer tube and bottom grommet are exposed and the drogue slider control line is free of twists. Separate the C line magnets and insert the drogue slider control line and in the 8D lines. Mate the C line magnets. Quarter the slider between the left and right B and C suspension line groups and between the leading edge and trailing edge simultaneously ensuring the stabilizer are clear. Flake the trailing edge starting with working view right. Repeat for left side working view. Rigger check 2. Fold the left and right trailing edge towards the center of the suspended canopy. Locate the red tab on the trailing edge and position it above the slider grommets. Move to the leading edge of the canopy and trace the trailing edge to the second seam. Roll the trailing edge in order to reduce the width of the canopy. Remove the canopy and suspension lines from the hook and carefully lay down the canopy. Smooth the canopy out by removing all the trapped air inside of the canopy while tucking the sides under making the canopy the approximate width of the deployment bag. Make an 8-inch S-fold, with the front slider grommets even with the bottom edge of the folded canopy. Form an S-fold with the top part of the canopy in the opposite direction, placing it on top of the lower part of the canopy. Fold the top portion of the canopy under, even with the bottom of the canopy. Ensure the cotton buffer panel and grommet are exposed. Rigger Check 3. Align the inner deployment bag grommet with the top grommet of the canopy. Begin placing the canopy into the inner deployment bag while maintaining alignment of the inner deployment bag grommet and the top grommet of the canopy. Ensuring approximately 6 inches of cotton buffer covered drogue slider control line is pulled through the grommet. Rigger Check 4. Place a temporary stow using the drogue slider control line in the working view left safety stow loop. Using working view, Close the left and right inner deployment bag flap by overlapping and aligning the two inboard grommets on each flap. Start in the center and pass the right stow loop through the two overlapping grommets and make the first drogue slider control line stow approximately 1 inch long. Remove the temporary stow from the left safety stow loop, and route through both grommets and make the second stow approximately 1 inch. Route the type 4 closing loop at the opposite end of the bag through the grommet on the opposite end of the flap. Make the third stow approximately 1 inch long by passing the drogue slider control line through the type 4 loop located on the opposite end of the flap. Make the fourth stow by passing the 1 and 1 quarter inch retainer band through the outboard working view right grommet and make a 1 inch stow of the drogue slider control line with a single wrap of the retainer band. Make the fifth stow in the same manner on the left side. Tuck the side flaps in. Rigger check 5. Continue stowing the drogue slider control line, in an alternating manner the width of the inner deployment bag with a single wrap of the 1 and 1 quarter inch retainer band. Ensure the bag stop is positioned between the last two stows. Lay out the drogue parachute with mesh side up and the drogue slider control line exiting toward the inner deployment bag. Form the first fold of the drogue parachute by folding it in half over the drogue slider control line. Fold the right third then left third of the drogue parachute. 
ensure the static line is properly girth hitched to the outer deployment bag and position it at the apex of the drogue parachute with the drogue pocket stow flap fully extended and the data panel facing up. Secure the drogue parachute loop to the drogue parachute attachment loop inside the drogue pocket stow flap using a 2 inch retainer band with a double wrap. Rigger check 6. Accordion fold the drogue parachute the length of the drogue pocket and place the drogue parachute into the drogue pocket. Ensure the drogue slider control line exits the drogue pocket to the right of the retainer band. Secure the drogue parachute in the drogue pocket with a 1 inch stow of the drogue slider control line with a double wrap of the 2 inch retainer band. Stand the outer deployment bag up, and accordion fold the drogue pocket and flap into the bottom of the outer deployment bag. Work the inner deployment bag into the corners of the outer deployment bag, with the drogue slider control line on the bottom. Starting on the working view right, close the inner flap by passing the 2 inch retainer band through the right grommet and make the suspension line stow with a single wrap of the retainer band. Repeat on the left side. Continue stowing in an alternating fashion using a double wrap of the 2 inch retainer band until 42 inches remain. All stows should be approximately 2 inches. Rigger check 7. Remove the pull up cord that was temporarily tied to the riser connector links and insert into closing loop on flap 1. Close the outer locking flap by passing the 2 inch retainer band under the center locking bar. Make the first locking flap stow using a double wrap with the retainer band forming approximately a 2 to 3 inch stow. Route the outer retainer bands through the outer locking bars. Make the last stows to the outboard left and right using a double wrap of the retainer band forming approximately 2 to 3 inch stow. Ensure that approximately 16 inches of suspension lines remain. Rigger check 8. Position locking stow protector flap over locking stows. Route one piece of the 1 quarter inch cotton webbing through the loop at the end of the cross connector. Rotate the cross connector so it is pointing to deployment bag. Route the outside end of the cotton webbing up through the loop on the side of the outer deployment bag and route the inside end of the cotton webbing up through the loop on the outer closing flap. Continue to route the inside end of the cotton webbing around the suspension lines and though the loop at the corner of the locking stow's protector flap. Tie the two ends of the cotton webbing using a surgeon's knot, locking knot. Ensure the cross connector is pulled tight against the closing loops and the knot is tight. Repeat steps for the other cross connector. Ensure the cross connectors are fully extended with no slack and under slight tension. Trim the running ends to 1 inch. The suspension line should have equal slack without any tension. Record the deployment bag serial number in the log record book. Rigger check 9. Rotate the outer deployment bag over the reserve compartment and place the outer deployment bag at the bottom of the main compartment. Place the risers along the outside of the reserve compartment and the suspension lines along the side of the main compartment with the steering toggles facing inward. Mate the magnets in the riser stow flap covering the main risers at the top of the harness slash container. Pick up the outer deployment bag and place it into the lower part of the main compartment with the suspension lines to the inside, cross connectors to the outside, and static line facing up. Rigger check 10. Rotate the deployment bag into the main compartment with the static line at the upper end fully seating it inside the main compartment. Route the static line out through the lower right side of the main compartment with the sewn portion facing down and free of twists. Close the pack closing flaps in numerical order and secure with the curved pin on the static line. The curved pin should run from left to right with the static line above the closing loop. Remove the pull-up cord by routing it under the curved pin and pull out slowly. Tuck any excess static line between the curved pin and the main compartment under flap 4. Close the pin protector flap ensuring the static line exits to the left. Stow the static line using two wraps of the 2 inch retainer bands, starting at the lower left, then alternating stows to the right and left until the static line is completely stowed and free of twists. Static line stows are approximately 2 inches long. Stow the static line snap hook in either the left or right static line snap hook pocket. Account for all packing tools and fill out the main parachute log record. Rigger check 11.